Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I would love to have you as part of the Stephanie's Journey's family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today I'm doing a easy couscous, 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 couscous. Not sure how you pronounce it. I'm doing a easy recipe on how to flavor that up. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay, couscous is very, very easy to cook. It's pretty much you steam some, I mean, boil some water and then put it in there and let it sit as the instructions say. But instead of uh, water, I'm going to, well, I have water, but I'm going to season mine up. I'm going to put, this is some boiled water, and I'm going to put a not chicken bouillon cube in there. And let me get a fork. And I'm going to let this, try to let this go in here and dissolve. And what I have here, and I'm going to put it in a pot and just boil it for a few minutes. Just to make sure that I have this all dissolved. Because I boiled it just in my tea kettle. My electric tea kettle. But it ain't boiled all the way. So I'm going to get the water boiled really hot. But it won't take long to boil since it's already hot from the tea kettle. And here I have a half a cup of couscous. Couscous. And a little under a fourth a cup of cranberries and I like to put cranberries in it. it makes it taste really good in the water and then sometimes I put a little bit of rosemary and thyme in there as well and salt and pepper if you if you want that that's up to you but with the sweetness and the salt that comes with the bouillon cube and this is the vegan not chicken bouillon cube I think to me it has enough salt in it and this is only a half of one so I got my pot here and I'm just going to pour this in here and put it on the stove for a few minutes and just bring it up to a heaping bowl and then I'll be right back. Okay, my water is boiling now and I got all my ingredients all together here. It's a little bit over, this is a half a tablespoon instead of one teaspoon, so that's one and a half teaspoons. That's three teaspoons is a tablespoon. I'm going to bring my boiling water over here. As you can see, it's boiling. It's probably going to steam up my camera lens. But we're going to scoop out the butter and put it in there. I'm going to put that in my water, but oh well. I want it to melt. And a fourth a teaspoon of rosemary and thyme. Put that in there. Put my half a cup of couscous. And I don't have a stair, so I had to get my little stair. And then my cranberries. And you just leave it off the heat you don't have to leave it on the heat just take it off put the top on it and it'll take about five or ten minutes for it to just suck up all of that water and that's it so once it's finished we will come back i'll clean up this mess and yeah stay tuned for that okay it has been five minutes and as you can see the couscous, wrong way, it's all done. And what I'm going to do is just fluff it with my fork. And it's hot, so I'm trying not to burn myself. I'm going to. Put it in this bowl so that I can take my pictures. And then we'll do a taste test. Mm. 
And that is it. It's just that simple to make couscous. And couscous is a grain for anybody that don't know. So, stay tuned for the taste test. Okay, guys, that is it. Quick and easy recipe. Takes seven, eight minutes to do. Well, we'll say ten. We'll say five minutes for the water to boil. And then, that's it. So, got our couscous right here. We're going to do our taste test and see what it tastes like. And the cranberries, because they're so tangy and mixed with the savoriness of the rosemary and the thyme, makes it taste so good. And then, the butter. Vegan butter, but still butter. Very, very delicious. You never taste couscous before. It kind of to me, it's like quinoa. Quinoa, no, quinoa doesn't have a flavor. It takes on the flavor of whatever you put in it. Same to me with couscous. Just like pasta. Pasta tastes like nothing by itself either. So, like any other grain, rice, what have you, they all are bland tasting. So <clears throat> to flavor them up, you put things in them. I dropped some, so I'm getting it up. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Quick and easy meal if you're throwing together something quick for your family. Pair it with whatever you like some tofu, some vegan chicken, or stir fry some vegetables to have on the side. Great quick meal. When you find it, same section that you find all the rest of your grains and beans and rice in your grocery store. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>